In this video, we are talking about the basic function and structure of the heart. So why do we need a heart? We need a heart to throw the carbon dioxide out of the body and to send oxygen to all the cells of the body. In case of human heart, we have four chambers in the heart. And this is the right side and the left side of this human. So out of the four chambers, this is the left atrium of heart. And this is the right atrium of the heart. These are the upper chambers of heart. And this is the left ventricle and this is the right ventricle of the heart. Total four chambers. So now blood brings the carbon dioxide from all the cells of the body towards the heart. So carbon dioxide from the upper part of the body that is the two arms, the brain and those organs situated there in the upper part of the body will come to the heart through this superior vena cava. This is a vein which is bringing the blood rich with carbon dioxide to the heart and the carbon dioxide rich blood from the lower part of the body such as the lower limbs and the organs will come to the heart through this vein called inferior vena cava. Both of the veins will bring the carbon dioxide rich blood to the heart chamber called right atrium. From the right atrium that carbon dioxide rich blood will reach the right ventricle. And now this right ventricle has to send this carbon dioxide rich blood to the lungs so that the carbon dioxide in the blood can go out of the body through the lungs. So now the heart will send the carbon dioxide rich blood to both the lungs. So these are entering the lungs and delivering the carbon dioxide rich blood to the lungs. The lungs have these kind of alveoli which are basically the air sacs. Inside the air sacs the exchange of carbon dioxide and oxygen occurs. So the arteries bringing the carbon dioxide rich blood will break down into capillaries and the capillaries will surround the alveoli. The walls of the capillaries are very thin so they can allow the exchange of gases. Now let's zoom into this one alveolus of the alveoli. So the wall of the alveolus is also very thin and only one cell thick. So the capillaries are also very thin so the gas exchange can occur very easily. So this is the capillary. Due to the difference of pressure, the carbon dioxide goes out into the air of the alveoli and the oxygen enters the blood. And now the oxygen rich blood has to return to the heart. So it will return to the heart with the help of some veins. So we will talk about the names of the veins and arteries later in this video. So all the oxygen rich blood from both the lungs will enter the chamber called left atrium of the heart and from the left atrium it will reach the left ventricle. Now the job of the heart is to send the oxygen rich blood to all the cells of the body. So now the left ventricle will contract and pump the blood through a big aorta towards the cells of the body. So these arteries will send the blood in the upper portion of the body and it will extend to the lower portion of the body and which will send blood to the lower portions of the body and the organs situated there. So now we have to learn the names of the arteries and the veins. Now I am drawing the heart again which is a four chambered organ. It has basically four chambers, the upper two chambers and the lower two chambers and it is surrounded by the two lungs of our body. 
the left and the right lungs. So this upper chamber of the heart is the left atrium and this is the left ventricle of the heart. And the other upper chamber is the right atrium and the lower chamber is the right ventricle. Always remember one thing, the vessels which are taking blood towards the heart are veins and the vessels which are taking blood away from the heart are the arteries. So these two big vessels are bringing blood to the heart. So these are veins. This is the superior vena cava and this is the inferior vena cava. These two veins are responsible for bringing carbon dioxide rich blood to the chamber of the heart and the chamber is the right atrium. So the right atrium will accumulate all the carbon dioxide rich blood inside it. There is a valve present between the right atrium and the right ventricle and this valve is called the tricuspid valve. Through this valve, the carbon dioxide rich blood will enter into the right ventricle. From the right ventricle, now this carbon dioxide rich blood has to go to the lungs. And the vessel which carries this carbon dioxide rich blood is called the pulmonary artery. Artery that is carrying the blood away from the heart and it is called pulmonary because it is carrying towards the lungs. The pulmonary means lungs. So this blood is being carried by the pulmonary artery towards the lungs. There is another valve present at this junction and this valve is called the pulmonary valve as this is the gate or door to reach the lungs. So after exchanging the gas in the lungs, the oxygen rich blood will enter the left atrium from both the lungs and the vessels carrying the oxygen rich blood to the left atrium is the pulmonary vein. These are called veins as this is carrying blood towards the heart and pulmonary because it is coming from the lung. There is another valve present between the left atrium and the left ventricle and the name of the valve is bicuspid valve or mitral valve. Through this valve, the oxygen rich blood will enter the left ventricle. Now, the job of the left ventricle is to pump the oxygen rich blood so that the oxygen can reach all the cells of the body. So, these are the heart muscles which will contract and send the oxygen rich blood through another big vessel. The name of the vessel is aorta. Aorta means big artery, artery which carries blood away from the heart. So this is the aorta which is sending the blood towards the upper end and this is the another end of the aorta which will send the oxygen rich blood towards the lower end of the body. There is a valve present here. This valve is called the aortic valve as this is the valve of the aorta. The easiest way to remember the names is to remember that the vessels carrying blood away from the heart are arteries and the vessels carrying blood towards the heart are the veins and the pulmonary word is added when it is related to the lungs. So this is it for this video. If it was helpful to you, please let me know in the comment box. Thank you so much.